basic services, you have uh, women's football, you have juvenile football practitioners, you have uh, schools and colleges, you have uh, uh, what have you, all these, and, they, and the government, and then the media, the last but not the least. And what, what happens there is that it's sort of a symbiotic relationship between each of these uh, stakeholders and the FA. The FA needs them as much as they need the FA. And so for refereeing, you need referees. Now, they are members of the Congress of the Association. They take part in the election of FA officials. They take part in approval of your accounts, activity report, uh, auditors, uh, members of the judicial bodies, and so forth. They are part of the shareholding structure of the FA. In return, Referees also need the Football Association for classification of referees, demotion, promotion, uh, ranking of referees, and so forth and so on. So the referees are not subordinate to the FA, just as the FA is not also subordinate to the to, to referees. Each of them has a responsibility towards the other, and it happens in a reverse order. And so it happens with coaches. It happens with the clubs and so forth and so on. Each of them has an interest. Uh, I remember that with women's football, at one time, there was an agitation that they, they wanted FIFA usually, that time we used to call it financial assistance program, FAP. FIFA used to give half a million dollars to each football association. And this money was segmented for each stakeholder uh, use. But it didn't mean that upon receipt of the money, you had to cash and pay it over to the shareholders. But you were to apply it towards their welfare. For instance, training programs for referees, or training programs for coaches, or workshops for uh, club officials, or workshops for female uh, club officials. But the agitation from the female clubs was that they said they needed the money. We should cash it and share it amongst them. And that generated a huge furore in the media. But it went all right. But you needed to be tactful. You needed certain people's skills to engage them and explain to them, show them the FIFA guidelines for applying and, 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 and getting those funds and disbursing them. Because if you disperse the money contrary to the guidelines provided by FIFA, you, the FA will be sanctioned. You could even uh, uh, suffer pecuniary penalties here and there and so forth and so on. And so this kind of hustle and, and, uh, and agitation among the rank and file of the members of the association for me, uh, I think it's, it's normal. Human, every human organization, be it a political party, political office, chieftaincy, church, and all this, you find these kinds of agitations and competition, internal competitions amongst them. So depending on how you manage it, it's uh, what will probably pass you as a good manager or a bad manager. But it may also come to a time that uh, if we don't take care, 